Alright, alright, alright. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of The Salt Mines, where we watch a very mature adults play a video game and act like small children. Down here in the bottom right, we've got Vegas Solar and Tropical Fruit. And this replay was sent in by their team, since we can see their allied chat. And on the other side, we've got Vapor on the top left, and... Fox Zone. We're just gonna call you Zone, so that doesn't get picked up by the uh, auto filter thinking I'm saying something else. Uh, so it looks like we've got some chatter here. It says, hey, plan. So Vegas is asking their teammate, are you good? Plan, are you good? Tropical Fruit hasn't said anything. They're gonna be going for a, six, a, six, a 15 gas, 16 gas opening. So 16 gas, not the worst thing if they drop a pool right now. Tropical Fruit's got 200 minerals. Oh, this overlay is kind of cool. I can see their, their minerals. It's not too bad for TVC. Yeah, okay. So they're doing a gas pool. Going to be a very quick ling speed. So it's Zerg, Protoss against Double Protoss. Double Protoss is pretty weak, usually, uh, especially on this current map pool because your bases are quite separated. So you've got two players who can't really support each other unless they both open up with like some two gate pressure, which probably is one of the better ways to open, especially in a PvP. Two gate pressure is standard for 1v1 in that matchup. And two gate pressure is good at taking advantage of a Zerg to be fair, though, before Link Speed's done, Link Speed is not ready in this matchup. Now, for those who don't know, The Salt Mines is uh, basically a show where we see people fall apart under pressure, call each other names, and, and generally have a, uh, a bad time. Every now and then, we'll bring up the chat in case I missed something and see what's going on. Vapor not really able to block that hatchery for very long. And it looks like Tropical Fruit chilling on 16 supply. That's a very low supply, guys. And we're already building four Lings, no queen. And we do have over 100 gas. But okay, okay, so it's, it's Link Speed... Four lings, ling speed, and then the queen's going to start with the next one, 50 minutes. This is actually not that bad of a build order, guys. I have no idea what rank these dudes are. Um, there we go. Queen starts up. So it looks like, yeah, I don't know who's who here, but okay. Like average is like about, the Protoss players are both at like 50 to 60. The Zerg and Protoss on the other side are both a bit higher. So these two, these two are red ones go faster. You guys know that, the old adage, uh, red ones go faster. Something that most orcs believe uh, is if you put some red, red paint, it will make your car go a little bit quicker. And to be fair, um, putting uh, speed holes and racing stripes on uh, on cars in my neighborhood and then driving down the road while making it make 10 times as much sound as it needs to going, ladies, look at me. Look at me. I'm very cool. I'm very confident in my masculinity. Does seem to be something that happens in my own local na local neighborhood with the, the, the humans. So maybe... Maybe I'm realizing as I say this that the people in my neighborhood who drive around with their, their cars that are designed to make 10 times the noise it's supposed to actually are orcs. Who knew? Anyways, not much happening right now. It's pretty chill. We're gonna. Oh, that's a good idea. Break the rocks. Wait, 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 guys. Guys, these Protoss players... You get a free expansion in the back, you nincompoops. Oh, no. This player's decided to wall off in front of their wall. Uh, expand in front of their wall off, I should say, when they've got two free expansions in the back. Oh, my gosh. Especially against the Zerg who's making Zerglings. Probably not the smartest idea. Now, on the other hand, the Lings could actually be running in the base and winning since there's literally no choke point. That is the that is a gaping abyss. That is a gash, if I've ever seen one. Uh, for those who don't know, a gash is a technical term for a, uh, a, a, a chasm. It's like a chasm. It's, it's nothing else. The Adepts do shade in for Vegas Sola. He's going to start picking off some probes right now. The Adepts, uh, they, the Adepts do clean up the other Adepts, so it's good damage, but... Could have been worse. Five probes go down, though. Actually, that's not bad. I can't believe these lings are breaking these rocks. Do they realize they can run through the middle? The whole point of making ling speed is you can get in the base right now, mate. I love these 300 IQ team game players, guys. This is great. Uh, we've got a, a lot of probes in the main for Vegas Solar. Tropical Fruits Economy also growing quite a bit. It has a third base. So the guys on the right are progressing. The dudes on the left are making one base blink and still no wall off like this is so wide opening you need like three adepts to hold that choke and this opening which is not the worst but because there's only one artosis pylon if that pylon goes down it's a big problem and dark shrine hey dark shrine's usually effective in team games you got two different players you can force to build detection and take advantage of for not having detection probes deciding to fight there and a bunch of them get picked off nice run by for tropical fruit but a few of the lings do get picked off finally finds the wide open unguarded entrance to the base and is going to run right up in there uh twilight and robo coming down behind vegas solar has been a bit slower on the macro lings will damage the nexus there's almost no way they kill it one ling runs in the main doesn't find any damage and uh looks like vapor's gonna have to deal with this now vapor doesn't have units uh as far as i can tell guys so do we really not have any units? What's going on? Maybe these are his units. No? Oh, oh, these two adepts are vapors. He came north to try and help defend. Okay, I see. 
Morling's gonna run in. Oh no, it's Stalkers and Adepts on the north, killing a battery before it can finish and picking off another unit. Dude, our Reddit team is destroying right now. These guys are faster. They're building more workers. They're both up like 13, 14 workers right now. They are so far ahead. They're, they're being active and macroing at the same time, which is exactly what you want to be doing in team games. Meanwhile, these guys on the left have one thing going for them. It's tall, it's firm, and if they use it correctly, they can give their opponents the shaft. That's right, it's got a firm shaft. The Dark Templar Shrine has now finished. The Dark Shrine. DTs are going to warp in and go across the map. At least one is... Oh no! Vapor doesn't use control groups! Vapor only knows how to send the DTs over here by sending the whole army! Oh no! And then we're going to stop to kill an overlord, which means the DT... No! Oh my god, Vapor doesn't know how to click on units individually. Oh my god, what level is this? Oh, the DTs could run in and like do massive damage. There's no detection. There's no detection. The first observers are coming out though. There is one observer out, but it's gone across the map. It's on the wrong side of the map. The DTs just hanging out in the army. We've made Dark Shrine as a support unit. It's a support unit. This is my green level StarCraft 2, says Triple Helix, our master's level Zerg in the chat. Uh, I got to agree. I like that comment. I like that comment. Um, <laughs> now, Tropical Fruit said, uh, try not to come to my side to keep them apart. I know, being 1v2, you're not even hitting him at all. Wait, 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 wait. Vegas Solar hasn't even said anything. Wait, Vegas Solar was hitting them as well, man. Okay. Oh, Tropical Fruit's going to defend with the Lings. But wait, he's not waiting for the support. The supporting army's coming. Why would you fight on your own, mate? Literally, the moment the counterattack came across the map, Tropical Fruits just started blaming them. Attack your effing guy, you R word. OMG, what are you doing? You guys are crushing. Just sync your armies up and go together. Basically, Tropical Fruit, as at the 11th hour, said, Your job is to counterattack. You're not allowed to come and help defend my side of the map. And he's pissed off that Vegas Soul is coming to help defend. Dude, you could have saved all the drones and just lost one hatchery if you weren't too busy typing in chat like an absolute nincompoop. They've still got the game in the bag. The opponents suck. Attack the purple guy, says Tropical Fruit. Um, so a lot of players play without team colors on, so the opponents will actually both show up as one color. So you should never use the color, in my opinion. You should always use top or bottom. I don't know, maybe maybe for random team game meta, using the colors is normal. I hate using different colors. I find it really annoying. Um, oh my god, it took the purple guy. Vegas is under attack, so Vegas has to come. Like, you are so slow, god. Oh, why aren't you doing exactly what I do the second I, I say it? And this is my favorite thing is when someone just is like, you need to do this. And you're like, you haven't even had time to respond or do it. And they're like, you fucking idiot. You're so slow. Why haven't you done it yet? What the fuck is wrong with you? And I'm like, I know your adrenaline's pumping and your perception of time's kind of addled right now, Mr. Tropical Fruit. But you could take a deep breath. You guys are crushing this game. You're so far ahead. By the way, shout out to Vapor for figuring out how to send Dark Templar away from the main army group. Pretty sick. Do you ever leave your base or attack or anything? Do you? <laughs> Bro, I am new. What do you want, says Vegas Solar. And Vegas is like, oh, what do you want to do, man? Like, hey, what should we do? I'm, I'm new. What, what do you want to do? You know, Vegas also asked at the start, um, what do you want me to do? Break that shit and keep him busy? Stop coming here, you R-word. Hit your fucking side. That is, this is the worst way to play team games. Guys, Tropical, so for those who don't know, team games is all about grouping your armies up and attacking at the same time. Tropical Fruit. Oh my God, Vapors, they're both attacking the rocks next to each other. This is truly peak StarCraft. We just saw two enemy armies ignoring each other to break the rocks next to each other. I'll get back to explaining why Tropical Fruit's strategy is literally the opposite of what you should ever do in a team game in a moment. But uh, yeah, that was a special engagement. Like Vegas is new. So is Vapor. These guys are not high level players. But what's great guys, so team games is all about grouping your armies up, hitting an attack together, and then, and then pulling back and expanding behind it. And then going for another big attack. And if you sync up your units like that, you'll be coordinated and you'll do really well. There are times where it's a good idea to also go send harassment at both sides as well. But you can never demand that of your opponent because some people are going to be more focused on the frontal army and that sort of stuff. Protoss doesn't have the same mobility as a guy who rushed speedlings in the early game. Oh god, oh that's a lot of zealots. Luckily they're on move command. But zealots wreck immortals. Oh god, this is a problem. This is not a good situation for the immortal stalker. But the zealots are actually helping out. Move the Immortals, bro. Micro. Oh my god. 
It truly is the guys who are permanently stock, stuck in silver too and abusing their bronze players. Micro! Move them! Why aren't you stutter stepping? Control? Control? I'm like, dude, this guy's a fucking silver player. Like, he's macroing. It's so much more important for him to be macroing. So this is what I talk about. You know when people talk about ELO hell? or MMR hell, where you're stuck at such a low level you can't rank up. People talk about this in team games like League of Legends all the time. So what they should really, really, you should really do is you can get much better, but you have to remember the rule is you can absolutely improve just by playing well. The problem people make is they listen to people in Bronze League's advice and they go, oh, this guy must know what he's talking about because he's talking so confidently. The difference in video game games compared to real life is if you could see the person who's telling you what to do, you'd realize he's not wearing pants, hasn't showered in three weeks, and has a neck beard that goes all the way down the sides of his body and connects in his gooch to his pubis. I'm just saying, like, the, if you saw the physicality of Tropical Fruit right now, you'd realize, mm, maybe not the smartest guy to take advice from, probably doesn't know how to play the video game very well. I remember playing Dota, exact same scenario. People were like, why don't you do the meta build? Why aren't you copying what, what the pro gamers do? And I was like, I, I'm literally, this is my third game of Dota. I don't know what the pros do. And they're like, you fucking idiot. And I'm like, wait a second, you watch pro matches? They're like, yeah, all the time. And I'm like, aren't we at the bottom of the ladder? And you just, you, they're like, yeah, but it's because my teammates suck. And you're like, oh, oh, this is the mental asylum of video games. I forgot, I forgot we're in the mental asylum of video games. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Don't come here. Stay in your side. So Tropical Fruit is actually a MOBA player. He's like, stop coming to my lane and stealing my experience. You're an idiot. Stay with purple for the love of God. Stay in your lane. How many times do I have to say? Here. That's your guy. Hit him. Keep it busy. Don't come here, man. What an absolute moron. Tropical Fruit is very bad at StarCraft. But what's great is they think they're good. And Peak Delusion is, is amazing. That's what, Isn't that what they call the um, Dunning-Kruger? Right, the more ignorant you are, the more you think you know what you're talking about. Peak Dunning-Kruger effect for Tropical Fruit over here is like, just, why don't you status step your stalkers? Also, stop building stalkers, they have zealots. Stalkers aren't good versus zealots. Like, you, you, we're gonna talk about unit counters. The fact that Vegas is macroing up a big army is so much better than you should expect of a team going team partner. Also, you guys have had double the workers and economy of your opponents the entire game. Your inability to join your armies together and fight is the only reason this looks vaguely close. This guy, bro, I swear, <laughs> Syndrome. It's, I think it's his face. He has System of a Down? That's one of my favorite bands. I, I, and they were a trendsetting great new metal. I don't know. He's saying this guy's part of System of a Down, apparently? I don't know, guys. That's an odd... That's a compliment. Dude, they have amazing vocals, a great guitar. Like, that's an odd, uh, that's an odd compliment there. I like that Tropical Fruit just got mad because he came back and flanked and destroyed the enemy's army. He's like, why aren't you in your lane? He's like, we just, I just crushed their army and saved you. And he's like, I told you to push their lane though. Push your lane, you fucking idiot. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. Vegas is a proper surge, if you ask me. Uh, absolutely game-changing vocals, man. Uh, going to attack purple, fine. I had enough. You are just griefing at this point. The guy who just saved you is griefing. Because, why, guys, why? Because he's pushing in his lane and winning the game. You're not allowed to win the game. That's my lane. That's my lane. So basically, I, I've never come across this before. Tropical Fruit seems to think this is a MOBA and he's like, fine, I'll push your lane then. You go and attack the S, exactly. <laughs> he's saying it, he's like, you're attacking the wrong player. <gasps> Why would there ever be attacking the wrong player? Why would there ever? Oh, he's actually killing the next eye as well. Wow, while Vegas is winning the game. Effing R-worded, son of bitch, ask you a billion times, attack your side, attack your side, attack your side, why? Because you're not in charge. So it's called a team game. Notice how he's killing the opponents right now. That's because in a team game, one of you's not the boss. You don't get the commander daddy chair. By the way, Vegas is still winning. Now, why, you guys might be wondering right now, if you're not super familiar with StarCraft, why are you able to kill your teammate's stuff? Now, the reason for this is StarCraft 2 was a, guy, a game that was designed by Blizzard, invested with hundreds of millions of dollars, probably about, I would say, $600 million over about 10 plus years of development. And during that time, they never made it so you can't kill your ally. Now, why did they do that? Um, I think incompetency has got to be the biggest word that comes to mind. The fact that this never got on their radar as a problem, even though it's known to be a problem, Blizzard has all... They, they've got issues as a company. They're literally just like, no, 
No! And Vegas is literally 1v2-ing while this absolute baboon is running around just raging in the corner. So this is something which has been known for a long time. It's why playing random team games in StarCraft is... Usually it's good, but one out of five, one out of eight games, one, I don't know, probably one out of 15 games, you get an absolute maniac like this who just ruins the game for you, which is kind of sad. Um, it, the guy, I'm not carrying you, stupid effort. I'll ask you, ten, the, dude, he's carrying you. Dude, the guy who's a new player, admittedly doesn't know what he's doing, is carrying you the whole time. You are bronze, I think. 100,000, come 1v1. Yeah, I'm... You are bronze, I think. So. Vegas! That was Vegas who said you are bronze. Vegas has realized that he's like, wait a second, you're actually really dumb. Vegas says, let's 1v1 for money, noob. <laughs> Come 1v1 me after this, I'll show you. Sure, you won't 1v1, but you'll be too scared. Dude, Vegas is literally 1v2ing the opponents, winning the game for them, while shit-talking Tropical Fruit. Oh my god. Dude. Tropical Fruit's like, oh, finally, they, they you attacked the right one. See? See? We won the moment you attacked the right one. He already killed the other guy's expansion in both their armies five times in a row. Tropical Fruit is finding a way to think that his strategy of attacking the bottom one is what's winning them the game. Tropical Fruit is the sort of guy who, who literally, like, rams his car into someone else's car, gets out, and he's like, why'd you ram your car into my car? The distance between Tropical Fruit's brain and perception of what's going on around them and reality... I mean, we've been talking about gashes this game. It is the gash of all ga gashes. It is what nerds who don't know how to pronounce words regularly refer to as a chasm. I'm talking about there is a gaping chasm uh, between tropical fruit and reality. Their, their ability to comprehend what's happening in the video game right now is less than zero. This player may be so incredibly impaired inside their brain that it's actually impressive. Let him win. Win. He deserves it. You are an idiot. The opponent deserves it? But you mean the guys that got 1v2'd by your teammate while you were doing nothing? And he's spamming signals on the top? This is hilarious. Dude, Vegas is going to win this game even though you've killed all of his bases. Vegas is just casually trying to rebuild, making some more units. And if he can beat this army, he wins the game. But I think that army will win. Purple is gone, R word. It's Teal, the one here. Ha ha ha. Guys, there's shared resources and you can still use your opponent's infrastructure to build things. Tropical Fruit doesn't know that because they don't know how StarCraft works because they literally think they're in a MOBA right now. Void Ray Arc on Immortal trying to push up the ramp. It looks like they have just enough to break through. And, uh, well, looks like Vegas does lose his army. So he's not going to be able to completely 1v2 them. But Tropical Fruit has now decided, you know what? Actually, I do feel like winning. But only after basically trying to punch my teammate in the crotch repeatedly. Tropical Fruit's the kind of guy who I would have loved to see on the sports field. Who I would have loved to see, especially in like a martial arts gym. These are the guys who basically give us those videos on the internet of guy challenges you know, guy to fight and then just get knocked out in one punch. Eh, tropical Fruit, eh, oh, except let's be real, he'd, he'd never actually do that because he'd never come out from behind his computer. Tropical Fruit, I mean, to be fair, I gotta say, Tropical Fruit is basically three steps of evolution away from becoming a herd animal that we basically shear the neckbeard off in order to use for fabrics and uh, blankets and that sort of stuff. As I was talking about, the neckbeard is truly monumental, eats a giant storm there, and, uh, yeah, is going to finally take this army out after trying to throw the game as hard as he possibly could. Tropical Fruit is a nincompoop. Uh, Vegas Solar carried the game. And shout out to both Blizzard's inability to remove the most basic thing from team games, being able to kill your allies. I don't know why you would not have that in the game. And Vegas Solar's ability to stay focused on 1v2ing the opponents, keeping them down in the dirt while losing their bases repeatedly and dealing with pages upon pages of spammed vitriol from this absolute nincompoop tropical fruit. Tropical fruit, you're both delusional, you kill your teammates, they win the game for you, and then you take credit. You're truly, I I, <laughs> I give you, you're actually someone who makes me kind of angry. I don't get, I normally don't get angry, I just laugh at people at this show, but I'm like, this person, I actually, just saying, probably shouldn't procreate at any point in the future. Anyways, thank you Vegas Solar for this replay. That was indeed a very special experience, and it reminds me once again, why I'm literally only going to play team games when I have a friend to play with. That random ladder cue makes me want to hurt myself. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. Goodbye and good night.